I am going to talk to you about asthma, otherwise called as bronchial asthma. Now, asthma is a disease of the lungs on both sides of the chest. In the center is the heart. On both sides of the chest, there are two lungs. Lungs are the organs of respiration, which is taking in oxygen and blowing out carbon dioxide. Now, the lungs are made up of air tubes. These air tubes, which are this much in diameter, gets reduced and the diameter becomes very small. So when the diameter becomes very small, there is a breathing difficulty. And if this is because of an allergic problem in you, then it is called as asthma. Another name for asthma is allergic bronchitis. Bronchi is air tubes, itis is inflammation. Inflammation of the air tubes is bronchitis. And if it is because of allergy, it is called as allergic bronchitis, otherwise called as asthma. Now, in a layman's term, in common language, Another name for asthma is very simple, the cold which you get here, sneezing, running nose, blocked nose and fever, the cold which you get in the nose is because of the air tube in the nose getting blocked because of allergy. If that cold goes down into your chest, that is called as asthma. A cold in the lung is called as asthma, a cold in the nose is called as cold. Now the problem in asthma is, in common cold when you have a block in the nose, you can sneeze out, throw out the phlegm and clear out the block. But lungs contain miles and miles of air tubes. When they are blocked, you can't throw it out. It is very difficult. Therefore, you get the symptoms of asthma, which is called as cough, breathing problem, wheezing or a musical sound in the chest like a cat mewing or a musical note, wheezing, usually more in children. And this happens. These are the symptoms of asthma. And in asthma, what are you supposed to do? Do a small blood test, do a test called as lung function testing. And this lung function testing or pulmonary function testing is done when you use an instrument called as a pulmonary function testing machine or a peak flow meter. This is attached to a computer and we take an image like in an ECG which a heart doctor asks you to do for a heart disease. The ECG is there like that we get a graph for a lung disease and then we use this peak flow meter and this pulmonary function testing to make a diagnosis of asthma. Once a diagnosis of asthma is over, you are supposed to take what is called as inhalers. Now, inhalers are these medicines which are, as you know very well, used and this should be used with a device called as a spacer device. Now, this is called as a spacer device. You puff, you use it and you put it in your mouth and use it. So, this is very important, inhalers and asthma and this is a spacer device and all of you all of you should have a peak flow meter at home so this is asthma and you have to be very careful with children and elderly people and asthma is a very treatable disease very controllable disease and with best treatment your quality of life will be as good as anybody else